Mobile Home Furnace Installation. There are condensing furnaces designed specifically for use in mobile homes. You can start by removing the old vent termination and any extensions. Clip the brackets holding the old flue and remove it. Install the top half of the new vent kit. Remove all screws and wiring connected to the old furnace, break the gas line, and tear out the old heating system. Clear a path and remove the old furnace body to be recycled. Clean the furnace closet and prepare it to receive the new furnace. Take measurements if you wish to reinforce the floor. Lay out your dimensions on the plywood. Set the saw depth to just below the thickness of the piece to be cut. With safety glasses and gloves on, cut it to size. Lay out and cut the center. Seal between the new and the old floors with mastic. If you can, reuse the base and the drop to the delivery trunk. Secure it into place with screws and seal the duct connections with mastic. Construct the new venting system to the manufacturer's instructions. On the roof, cut the vent and combustion air to a point above the snow line in your area. Candy cane the combustion air intake so rain cannot enter. Seal the system with silicon to avoid roof leaks. Drill holes for the condensate lines and gas piping. Follow your local codes and agency policy for running the condensate lines. Using thread sealer, install a gas cock on the fuel line. Do not over tighten fittings on black pipe as you can crack the nipple and cause a leak. Install flex lines so they do not run through the furnace body or the floor. Do not use thread sealer on flared steel fittings. Get them as tight as you can. Test all the connections on the gas piping for leaks. Connect power to the unit, black to black, white to white, and ground to ground. Add return air grills to the door of the furnace closet if needed. Connect the thermostat wire and fire up the unit. At around five minutes, test the new furnace for carbon monoxide. Clean up the area and educate the client on the furnace's operation.